What's up, everybody? Greg Amson here of MLB Network. I just wrapped up over the summer my 11th MLB draft. It was loads of fun, and I'm here to talk about what the Mets were able to find in that 2019 MLB draft. I love what Brody and his team were able to do in the 2019 draft. Uh, high upside guys, first three rounds, and then rounds four through 10, the established college player that you'll see in the big leagues in the next two to three years, in my opinion. I, I think you've got star power early on in the draft, and you're going to have some consistent performers, a really good balance of this 2019 draft class for me. Brett Beatty, I was surprised he went as high as he did. 12th overall, my friends Jim Callis and uh, Jonathan Mayo of MLBPipeline.com had him go from 15 to 20 in that range. And this is a kid that's going to play in the big leagues, in my opinion. He's already shown in the minors why so many scouts loved him when he was in high school. Left-handed bat, smooth swing, and he, and he takes pitches. He doesn't give away in a bat. I think already in pro ball, around a 370 on base percentage. You're not gonna see the crooked numbers in terms of power until about 22 or 23, but this kid's lofty. He, he's going to be a 30 homer third baseman uh, for the Mets. If the Mets can hold on to him, hopefully they will. I like Josh Wolf. Tall, slender, like 170 pounds. He'll fill into that, but it's not going to be the what they look like frontline starter. A uh, very steady high school performer. Obviously great numbers in high school, but for a high school right-hander, to me, he doesn't profile as a number one or a number two, but I think he's going to fill into a rotation someday for the New York Mets. Uh, I usually don't say a safe pick with a high school right-hander, but I think Wolf fits that criteria. Matthew Allen is, to me, and I know he's a third round pick, but he's the crown jewel of this draft class for me, personally. At 6'3", 225, the time he was drafted, I've heard he's gotten even bigger. His numbers and a small sample size in pro ball are quite impressive. This kid could be the steal. I think this kid was going to have signability issues because of a college commitment and for the Mets to pounce. This is a possible number two starter down the line for the Mets. I love the seventh round pick for the New York Mets. My most intriguing player uh, in this Mets draft class is going to be Luke uh, Luke Ritter, the second baseman out of Wichita State. To me, he is one of those obvious overlooked players <laughs> because he's not well, he's 5'11", does, he's not a speedster, but he's a good base runner. He doesn't have a ton of power, but he'll hit the occasional home run. Doesn't have a cannon for an arm, but he'll make a great play and a pivot. He is a steady player that I, I do believe will make it to the big league someday. I, I really think Ritter will be there. Uh, had a great college career with the Wichita State Shockers, so I'm a big fan of his. I want to grade Brody and his staff on this draft class as, a, as an A. And the reason we do that is the way he kind of became a rock star overnight with the big league roster, he didn't do that with this draft class. I'm not saying I disagreed with what he did uh, in, in the winter, but this was a, a very contrived plan that was executed, in my personal opinion. To, to go with the high upside, to save money because you weren't a top 10 pick, to get a kid who everyone thought was gonna slide because he was gonna go to, go to college and, and overpay record amounts of money in the third round to get a kid like Matthew Allen, and then go safe with the college stars, in my opinion, rounds four through 10, such a smart way to go about this. I love what he did. I would. I would give him an A. I would give this draft class an A for the Mets. The most intriguing player to me in their farm system, in the Mets farm system, is Kevin Smith, the lefty they got at University of Georgia last year in 2018. I like this kid a lot. 130 punch outs this past year in 2019. He flew through the system. Uh, I could see him with the Mets uniform on in maybe 2021 at the end of the year. That's how fast he's, he's, he's profiling. Tall lefty, kind of what they look like. But the Mets have a, it's, that's a hard question. There are a lot of young players that the Mets have that have a huge upside. Kevin Smith would just be one of them.